it's me, <laughs> Laura Burns, and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited that you're here with me today, and I'm very excited for the reason that we are all here together, which is, as you know by the title, Trunk Club. Oh, but wait, if you're here for the first time, jazz hands. This is your welcome to our community of weirdos. I keep saying that. I feel it's like my tagline now. <laughs> um, so taking a deep breath. Trunk Club is always such a big affair because you get so many items. And Trunk Club, if you're not familiar, is a clothing subscription box where you work with Trunk Club, which is the um, brainchild of Nordstrom. And you are paired with a stylist and they work with you. They send you once a month or however often you want it. Um, a big, a big box of clothing, accessories, shoes, handbags, like whatever you want, you can tailor it to your needs and you get 12 items with the potential for 15 um, after you approve your trunk, which you get to either approve or deny items, which is amazing. They um, have given you the option to add on certain accessories. This month, I didn't like any of the accessory options, so I just stuck with the classic 12 items for my trunk. Um, but Trunk Club is my favorite clothing, styling, service, subscription, box, whatever you want to call it, because you really have an actual relationship with your stylist. I can message Kat, my stylist, anytime. I can email her. Um, it's really great. She messages, messages me back. We actually have a conversation. Whereas with Dia, which I do like Dia and Co., you don't have that back and forth with your stylist, and I think that you can tell the difference in... Um, how personalized the clothing choices feel. Um, but with Trunk Club, Kat will um, ask if I have any requests for that month. I'll give her whatever information. She'll style a trunk. You get a preview. You can say, yes, send this. No, don't send this. And why? And then um, she'll replace those items that I denied with new, fresh items. Send the trunk out to me. And there you go. Oh, and also, <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is a dress from Anthropology. So if you saw my anthropology inside the dressing room video, this might look familiar. Um, it's one of the items, one of the two items that I purchased in store and I really like it. I love these arms. They're very fun and I love the cute ruffle at the bottom. It's very soft, very comfortable. They might still have it and if you're watching this video when it comes out, <laughs> sorry, I had a brain fart. If you're watching this video when it comes out, they may still have a sale on their clearance items or this may still be available in clearance. So definitely check this out. I don't remember the name, but you will recognize it if you scroll through the clearance items. Okay, so I try to like get going fast with Trunk Club because there's so many items. It takes a long time to do this and these videos get kind of long. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to start trying stuff on. Let's go. Okay, can you believe I actually requested jeans? <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you know, I don't really like pants very much. I wear a lot of leggings. Um, I don't wear a lot of actual pants, even jeans, um, which I know some fat people love, but for me, they just never fit my fat body <laughs> the way that I want them to, the way that feels very comfortable. But I thought, you know what? I really would like to be able to have some jeans that I enjoy wearing. I do have a pair of Torrid jeggings in a dark denim and a pair of jeans that I got from a Trunk Club video last fall that I never ended up wearing. And I thought that I would, but I didn't. And this is what happened. So I want to tell you about these jeans. These are not your daughter's jeans. Um, and they are 360 degree stretch. Um, it says that it shapes you and sculpts you, but I actually am very surprised I've tried on their jeans before, um, and the brand or the jeans that I bought last fall might even be not your daughter's jeans, but they've always felt before like kind of like, you know, these don't. I'm actually very pleased. I'm just like finding all the pockets. I'm very pleased. Um, you're getting my first impression here. I have rolled them up because I am short <laughs> and they were, you know, covering my entire feet so that I was going to trip and fall. So I do have them cuffed up. If you're taller, these are actually going to be a good length for you. Um, if you're a short person like me, you're probably already used to rolling up your jeans or having to get them hemmed. 
Um, I would probably hem them to like low ankle length with the option of being able to roll them up to like this like shorter cropped length. Um, the material is very stretchy. This is the stretchiest pair of Not Your Daughter jeans I've ever put on. Um, here's from the side. So they don't have that net panel in the front that these usually have and I'm happy about it. So I know a lot of people like um, like power mesh and like things that hold you in and feel like kind of compressing um, but I really don't like that and so I'm pleasantly surprised that these don't have that power mesh. Here's the back. How does my butt look? I'm looking in the mirror. I think it looks cute. What do you think? Tell me in the comments how does my butt look? <laughs> Um, I'm a little shocked at how comfortable these are. So they're nice and high waisted, which is what I like because when jeans are low, they cut into like this larger part. So if you look at the shape of my belly, where these are hitting, it's a little smaller. And so it's not going to cut in as much. Sometimes when jeans hit about here, this is like the biggest part around my belly. It's really uncomfortable. And I know I'm spending a lot of time on these jeans, but it's just because I'm surprised and I like them a lot. So, you know, when you sit down, jeans can really cut in. When I sit down with high-waisted jeans, I kind of just give them a little pull up so that they hit me higher. So these are stretching with me. The zipper's not like gaping open. Everything feels okay. It's containing my belly. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna try on a couple shirts that came in the trunk um, just with these jeans, just to see how they look. And um, we'll see how they continue to feel as I try stuff on. So the first top I have is from City Chic. It's in their 2X slash 24. And it is a really nice quality feeling material. So it's a t-shirt with like elaborate arms. Now, um, I'm a fan of these labyrinth arms. This reminds me of the dress I was wearing. What's interesting is that underneath it's basically like, see how it's connected? It's very open here at the bottom, so the sleeve doesn't go all the way around the bottom. So this goes over the top. I like that because it lets more air. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say is like, I think it's good for your armpits because it lets more air get in there because this isn't closed at the bottom. It's like very open. Anyway, um, I think this length is a bit long for me and how I like to wear tops. You all know that I'm a fan of like a shorter top just because proportionally, I think it helps my legs to look a little longer. I do have a really long torso. And when I wear things like this, like my legs look so short, <laughs> like so short. So I would probably do the French tuck as Tan France calls it. So like that, and then if you want, you can still have a little coverage here, or you can tuck this whole thing in, or you could do the dreaded tying it up, which I won't do, because I know some of y'all get upset with me. <laughs> anyway, I think it's cute. I'm just gonna turn to the side, looking in the mirror, and then you can see me from the side. So this is just tucked like this. I think it looks cute with these jeans. I like this shirt. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised. I like this a lot. Um, the surprise comes from the high neck. I don't usually love like super high neck things like this, um, but I don't feel like it's choking me, even though it's really up there. I think because this fabric is so soft and like so stretchy, it feels nice um, and I'm not getting that like strangled feeling. So here's from the back. Cool, we're doing really well so far. <laughs> it's going good, yeah. And if you like this long length, give you a good look at what that looks like. If you're somebody who likes to wear longer t-shirts, so this is definitely covering, I mean, almost all of my butt right here. And almost all of my belly. And if you're shaped differently than me, if you have less going on down here and maybe more up here, you're probably gonna get a little more coverage of the belly. So if you like that kind of look, you could wear it just with like leggings or something. Um, I think this would be cute tucked into like a high-waisted pencil skirt and then like with these dramatic arms that would be cute. All right I'm gonna move on I have more shirts. I'm feeling very excited about this trunk. <laughs> oh I forgot to mention at the beginning um, oh two things actually I forgot to mention these Not Your Daughter's jeans are like the slim 
straight leg in the size 28. And also, if you want to try Trunk Club, there's a link in the description box. Um, and that will get you set up with my stylus and it will waive the styling fee for your first trunk. So, good to know. Cute. All right, more shirts. Y'all. Y'all. Look at the shirt. It's so cute. It's just a little t-shirt. This is from BP in a size 4X. It's just a little tie-dye t-shirt, but it's so cute. So it's a crop top, as you can see. There's some belly action. It's a nice length, though, because when I raise my arms up, it's not doing this, which, you know, sometimes crop tops, when they're cut too short, they might look cute like this, but if you raise your arms, it's like, oh, here's my boobs. So <laughs> I like the length of this one. Um, if I don't raise my arms, it looks like it could be tucked in or something. But then if you move around, it's like, oh, here's a little bit of my cute belly peeking through. Don't mind me just being really cute over here. So here's from the side. I'm just looking in the mirror. Yeah, this is super cute. Like I would totally style it like this with some Birkenstocks, of course. Um, yeah, I can see me wearing this like with jeans with a high-waisted skirt, um, with jean shorts in the summer. Um, I could wear this as pajamas. <laughs> I could wear this with leggings and do yoga. Oh, I like it. And it's BP, so it's probably cheap. <laughs> um, or it's probably the most affordable piece in this box, let's say. Um, it's really, really soft, and I love tie-dye. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to get this. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. What do you think? Do you like this shirt? I love it. Yay! What a good box. So next up we have this really beautiful camisole from Leith, which is L-E-I-T-H. I know some people are like, are you saying, what are you saying, Leith? <laughs> um, so it's from Leith, like Keith, but with an L. Um, and it is an a 4X. It's a really beautiful, like rust orange, kind of pumpkin-y color. And I'll come close in a second, but it's got a really cool play on textures going. The background is like a matte woven, and then the dots are kind of a shiny woven. So I'll show you that in a second. But I just want to let you see this. It does have adjustable straps. This bra is um, probably not like the greatest for this because the straps are so thick. Honestly, I'd probably wear this without a bra um, and just be free, but I know that lots of y'all aren't into that. You could wear a strapless bra with this. You could put um, a tank top or a t-shirt under it. That would be really cute too, especially as we move into fall and you want a little bit more coverage for warmth. Um, I am running into the thing that I always run into where it fits up here, but it's a little small here. Like it's folding up because it's a little small. So what I would probably do is just wear this tucked into something. And so then alleviating that problem. So I'm just going to quick tuck this into the jeans, which are staying very comfortable. I'm not finding any weird fit issues with them. So I would probably adjust these straps a little bit better, but just for this try on showing you. So yeah, so you could tuck it in, um, or if you don't have that same issue as I do and it fits over your hips, you could leave it out. But let me come and show you this material. So you can see how the background is matte and the dots are shiny. I think. Do you want to throw on? I did ask her for lightweight, like nice cardigans, even though it's in the what probably mid to upper 90s today. This is also from Leith in a size 4X. I thought I would just throw it on with this top because it looked very fall to me. So. All right, I'm getting hot, y'all, already. <laughs> it's not the weather for this right now, but let's see. I'm just going to look in the mirror. Oh, it looks cute. So this is nice and soft. It's a lightweight knit, so it's not too heavy. Of course, the sleeves are too long, but every sleeve <laughs> in the history of sleeves has been too long for me. So, boom, fixed. I like it. It has like a little slit on the side. It's very simple and it's a beautiful olive green, which is a color that I've been wanting to have more of in my wardrobe. So I'm really liking this cardigan. Ooh, what an easy way to like add another layer to outfits. I could put this on like with jeans and a top over dresses. 
Um, and it's very different from the other types of cardigans that I have. I have very like drapey ones. And then the only other one that I have that is similar to this is that leopard print one, which is like kind of a statement. So this is a nice like neutral way to have that same silhouette. Mmm, what a good trunk. I just keep saying that. <laughs> Next item here. So this is from Mod Cloth, and I had told Kat that I wanted to try more Mod Cloth items because um, she gave me that dress last time, which was so beautiful. Um, and I've always looked at their skirts like this. They have a bunch of different kinds of skirts. So this is a 4X, and this is out of like chiffon, and there's two layers. When I saw the skirt before I touched it, I thought it was going to be more like a twill skirt, which is what I feel like most of their skirts are, but this one is chiffon. It really surprised me. Um, so let me just say, I like this skirt. I like the way it looks on my body. I like the color. I even like the fact that it's chiffon because it, it's so flowy and movie. Movie. <laughs> I don't know. It has a lot of movement. Um, but I can't keep it because it's just too small. Um, the waistband, none of the fabric has stretch and the waistband doesn't even have like a little elastic panel, um, which I would have thought that they would put that in because it allows the garment to fit more bodies. Like this way without that panel, like it just, a lot of bodies aren't going to fit in here. So, okay, this is my relaxed body. I'm not sucking anything in. It still fits, but it's definitely like, it's, it's fitting tightly. I can get my fingers in there, but only because I'm pushing into my belly, you know? It's not like painful, but it's not comfortable. I wouldn't want to wear this. And it's hitting me, you know, I have it pulled up to my smallest part. Now, if I suck everything in, it's fitting a little looser. I could probably wear it. If it fit like this when I was in relaxed state, <laughs> I could probably deal with it, but I have to suck in like completely in order for it to feel like that. So. Oh, <laughs> it's not going to work for me, but it's beautiful. The color is nice. It's like a dark green, dark forest green. Um, it has these cute brown buttons down the front. has great movement. So here's from the side and the back. What a beautiful skirt. If you are any smaller than me, I would say if you're even like a small 28, you could wear this. A 26, for sure, totally, would be great in this. Um, I'm gonna, when I, I can't keep this, unfortunately, so when I do my feedback, I'm gonna tell her that I loved it, but that if she could look and see if there are any mod cloth skirts that have the elastic panel on the waist, that I would like to be sent those, because otherwise, like, it's just too tight. Like, well, if I pulled it up, okay, actually, look, if I pulled it up to here, I could totally wear this skirt. Oh no, now I kind of want to keep it. No, because I would want to tuck my shirt in and this is just too high. <laughs> but all of a sudden it's totally wearable. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's so close. It's so close to comfortable. Like even here, no, Laura Burns, it needs to fit better. Anyway, but it's close. So if you know kind of the size of my body and like if you have a similar size, I know a lot of you are like, we're like body twins. So just so you know, it's really, really close. So if you're even a little bit smaller through here, it's going to work for you. Oh, and if you get this skirt, take a picture and show me because it's so pretty. Um, okay, I have one more skirt to show you. So here's the next one. It's from Leaf in a size 4X. And if this looks familiar, it should because it's the exact same skirt, not the material, but the same skirt as the one that I kept a number of months ago that had the white and the pink and the green on it and the like geometric patterns. So it's just this um, grow grain elastic waist and then pleated material. And this one is in like a tiger stripe. Um, and I don't love this pattern. I really, the only animal print I like is leopard print and I'm picky about my leopard print. Um, but I love the fit. If you like the tiger stripe, listen, let's talk about the fit of this. It's a very generous. It's just like the other skirt. You can totally size down in this. If you're larger than me and you want this skirt, 
go for it because look how much room there is. Look at this. So here's my body. There's a ton, a ton of room in here. Um, so if this hopefully, hopefully this helps you. Um, this is the 4X from Leaf. This skirt fits just like the last one. Tons of room. It's basically free size in the hips. Um, I like it, but I just don't love this material. It's cute though. This would be great on somebody else who's into tiger stripes. Next up, we're starting the dresses, and we're kicking it off with this City Chic dress. This is in their size 2X or 24, and it is a really cute black with white polka dots. It has like a faux halter neckline, so imagine my bra's not here. <laughs> that's what it would look like, and it ties in the back, so that's really cute. It has a fun flounce at the hemline, and... Um, the fit on me is not great. It's definitely too small. It's pulling tight across my belly. It's not that uncomfortable, but it's like tighter. I don't, it's, I'm not going to want to wear this. And I think if I were to sit down, I would be um, testing the seams. Because <laughs> even just standing, it's like, there's like, look, I'm pulling. There's no room in there. So imagine this with kind of a looser fit <laughs> through the belly. And I think that's what it's supposed to look like. This is like a dress that's like made to go dancing because of this like fun hemline. Um, it's so cute. It's so cute. It doesn't fit me, but um, if you have less going on here, then it'll fit you. Because <laughs> even like some bodycon here would be cute, but like it's just too tight. Like I think I'm going to bust the seams if I sit down in it. Um, but I'm just looking in the mirror. So it's all one piece. There's no seaming or anything here. I know it can be hard to tell that. Here's what it looks like. Here's my butt. Like, I think you'll actually, like, even tight like this, I think it looks great on me, but it's just not comfortable. So, imagine the bra's not here. What do you think? Isn't this cute? Somebody, this is like the, the other, the mod cloth skirt. Somebody buy this and take a picture so I can live through you. But, yeah, cute. Okay, moving on. More dresses. Okay, next dress. And let's say it's barely a dress. It's like a tunic. Um, so this is from Dantel in a size 4X. It is a leopard print. Now you may remember last trunk I got basically the same dress in that snake print. It was olive green with gold metallic snake print. And I didn't keep it and I have been kicking myself ever since. I have thought about that dress. I should have bought it. It's one of those things where I was like, no Laura Burns don't buy that, be responsible. And then now I'm like, Laura, you've wanted to wear that dress multiple times since then. So I think I'm gonna go check out the website and um, perhaps purchase it. <laughs> but I also had looked at the website and saw that there was a sister dress to it, which it was this leopard print dress. So I asked Kat to put it in my trunk and she did. And now I'm wearing it and showing it to you. So I would not wear this uh, with nothing underneath like I have now. I would definitely put on bike shorts um, or leggings um, but I don't have any with me right now, which is very surprising. So I'm showing it to you just with the thighs. So here we go. It's just a t-shirt dress, t-shirt, tunic, whatever. But it fits really nicely. It's nice and oversized. Like I could even wear this just with like jean shorts. Um, I love it. It's so comfortable. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm glad that I asked for it. So here's from the back, I think it's slightly longer. Yeah, it's a little bit longer in the back. You get a little bit more coverage. Here's from the side, and then the front is where it's the shortest. So I'm gonna keep it. I love it. I don't know, I'm just saying it now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it, because it's so cute. It's really soft. Um, I mean, it could be a night shirt if you wanted it to be. I would wanna wear it out, but I'm just saying. Like, it's very comfortable. So it's a winner, for sure. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, just over here looking fabulous in my favorite color, in my power color. So this dress is from Eloquy, uh, which is a brand that I had also asked Kat to try and include more of because um, I wanted to try more Eloquy pieces, <laughs> because that's why. Um, and so she included this, and actually the dress that comes after this is also an Eloquy dress. Um, OMG. 
So I want to say that the fit is not quite right for me, but I love this dress. So here's from the side. Um, so this is a wrap dress, and the material is like a um, non-stretch, but a little bit of give. Uh, like a, it actually almost has the texture of a linen. It's not linen. It's like a twill, I think, but it's um, a lighter weight twill, and it has like a little bit of a texture to it, which has a lot of twill is just smooth. Anyway, um, it's great. It's a 4X. Did I already say that? Oh, no, it's a 28. Um, so here's from the side. Here's from the back. OMG. It's almost really good on me. This could be really good on somebody else. So the problem is something that I run into with wrap dresses a lot, um, especially if they don't flare out. So this is, you know, a much straighter silhouette. This is a true wrap dress, which means you have to take the belt from this side, thread it through a hole, and then this is a really long one, so it wraps all the way around and then to the front. So there's like a lot of wrapping <laughs> that happens here. Um, and the problem that I run into is that if it fits here, like in this kind of a silhouette, if it fits here, it's gonna be too big here. And that's what's happening here. So it's too big, so you can see all that room here. So if I were to pull that in, it would fit a lot better. So this is something that I could get altered, but also like there's just a lot of room here. They always make these and they're really big. So if you have a large chest, this could be a great piece for you. But for me, <laughs> I don't have a large chest, so I would really require like some, I don't know. I don't even know how to alter it. Like I would definitely have to have somebody else do it. But I mean, it could be really good, but I just don't, See how much give it has? Sorry, I got distracted. But like, look, it definitely has some give, which is nice because then you sit down and it's not like, <sighs> anyway, I don't think I want to spend the money on buying it and then also getting this altered because um, I think it needs kind of some expensive alterations like through here, it gets pricey. Um, but if you have a larger chest, this is going to be great for you. Um, if you are more in close proportion um, and not like a full one to two sizes larger, on either end <laughs> this would be a great fit um it's just not gonna work for me like if i tuck everything in how i had it and like stand still it's fine but for like actually living your life and i would want to bring the hem up so just too many alterations needed but what a beautiful dress this is great i highly recommend this dress it's gorgeous i'll read you all the names of everything and the prices at the end but man this is really good Somebody buy this dress. Oh, I'm just looking at it in the mirror. Oh, it's so pretty. I just, I think I just really love this material. I need this material in something else, you know? Okay. One more dress to go and then a pair of shoes. And to round out our dresses, here's another one from Eloqui and it's very white. <laughs> this is a size 28 from Eloqui, and the whole thing is in like t-shirt material, so it's really comfortable. Um, I think I would actually size down to the 26 in this, and this is a good example of where I could size down and it would still work. So unlike that last dress where if I had sized down, it would probably be too small here. Because this is cut in this way, there's gonna be plenty of room for me to size down. Um, I think it's just a little big on me. Um, if this were like olive green or navy blue or black or literally any color, I would be so much more into this. But I don't even wear white shirts, much less an entire white dress. But I know that some people do. I see people wearing white. Um, if white's your thing, this dress is really good. It's very comfortable. Everything is stretchy. Um, it has a self belt. It's like really soft, like it's a really nice t-shirt material. Um, there's a seam line here, so it adds a little bit of interest. Come close so you can see. See the seam? So it's like something, you know, a little interest added. But like look where this is hitting me. So here's the shoulder seam. It should be like here, no? <laughs> like, Wouldn't that be cuter if it actually fit? Like pulling this in. Let's see. The shoulder should not be down there. Oh, much cuter. Yeah, so I would definitely need to go down a size in this, but oh my gosh, if this were olive green, I would keep it. So if you like white, 
get on this. I'm going to look and see if it comes in any other colors. I would imagine that if it did, she would have sent me a color because I think she knows I'm not into white. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has been really interesting getting to try these Eloquy pieces. I often don't try a lot of Eloquy because I have to go do it online. They have a store, but um, it's really hot in their store. <laughs> when you try stuff on in their dressing room, there's no ventilation. There's just this really thick floor to ceiling curtain and walls and it's just like no air. I really don't like trying on clothes there. I wish they would be like Torrid and put a fan in there. That would be great. Anyway, so I don't like to go to their store very much. Um, I'm going to stop rambling about this dress. Anyway, it's not for me because of the color, but other than the color, I really like this dress. I would keep it. Okay. I keep looking at myself. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move on. I just have one more thing and it's a pair of shoes. Okay. The last thing I have is a pair of shoes, and this is from AGL, which is apparently made in Italy. Established 1958. Um, and the color of these is platinum suede. The color, oh, platinum marble. Well, who knows? <laughs> Two different color colors that are listed. So these look very fancy. I haven't looked at the prices, but I'm going to guess that these are expensive because they come with a little card but they come with a shoe bag, and usually shoes that come with a bag are pricey. So this is a shoe. This is what it looks like. Um, okay, so they're cute. They're very not me, um, but they're definitely cute. I could totally see um, somebody wearing these and looking really great. This is fun. So these are all individual silver leather bands and then it has a suede outer and this cute buckle on the ankle. I did try these on. I had to like push, but I could get my foot in here, but it would not be comfortable to wear. And then this does not fit my ankle. So these might be wide. Nothing on here says that they're wide, but they, I could get my foot in them. I, so I don't know if they're like regular width that just runs a little wide so I could actually get in or if they're actually wide and they just don't say that. But also like my toes aren't long enough so there's like a lot of space here um, where you just saw this and I hate that. This is more heel than I want to wear. There's no arch support. Like these are just not shoes for me, right? I have a very specific type of shoe that I can wear which is uh, comfort shoes. <laughs> so this is not me. You know who I can see wearing this is Rebecca from the plus side of me. She would look great in these shoes. She wears shoes like this. Um, I don't. I wish that I could, but my feet are not having it. So um, definitely going to pass on these. I'll be interested to see uh, how much they are. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, grab the price list and uh, be right back with you. Y'all, it's hot in here and trying all these clothes. I'm like, oh, Oh my god. Okay, so I have the paper. I'm going to look at the prices finally. Here we go. 12 items. <clears throat> the handkerchief hem t-shirt dress from Eloquy in white was a size 28. It's $89.95. Flutter sleeve wrap dress from Eloquy, size 28 in Inca gold, $109.95. The button front pleated midi skirt in size 28 from Mod Cloth. That was the green skirt. 59. Oh, that's a great price for that. Tight IT in a size 4X from BP 22. Neighbors' dogs are going nuts. <laughs> Long line cardigan in a size 4X from Leith in the color green. 69. Mixed sheen camisole top in a size 4X from Leith in the color rust umber. $45. Pleated midi skirt in a size 4X from Leith in the color tan. That was tiger stripes. $69. Leopard print mini dress in a size 4X from Dontel, $59. Ankle strap sandal size 10 from AGL in the color platinum suede, $365. Told you. <laughs> Slim straight leg jeans in a size 28 from Curves 360 by Not Your Daughter's Jeans, $119. Bliss stripe ruffle sleeve tee in a size 2X or 24 from City Chic, $55. Spotted halter neck asymmetrical swing dress in a size 2X or 24 from City Chic, $79.20. $79.20, that must be on sale because that's a weird price. Whew. It's like a tongue twister getting all these words out. So um, 
the things that I liked, I made a pile of what I liked and I have the jeans, the tie-dye crop top, the Dantel dress, the green cardigan. I think that's all that's over there. Those were like my, ooh, I really want these. Um, so I am going to keep all of them. And I'm only able to do it because for some reason a bunch of y'all got trunks <laughs> and um, kept an item. So basically, if you use my referral code um, and you don't purchase anything, then I don't get any credit. If you use my referral code and you purchase anything, then I get credit with Trunk Club. And some months or some like months in a row, nobody does it and I get no credit at all. Like I haven't had credit in like four months. And then for some reason during the month of August, like a bunch of y'all came through <laughs> and did it and so I have like kind of a lot of credit um so I'm gonna use it oh my god I'm gonna keep those items I'm gonna keep oh my gosh thank you so much by the way you guys like there's no way I would be able to keep these things if you didn't use my referral link it means so much to me like I don't have the budget for <laughs> for this um and I'm like it just makes me so excited so I'm gonna keep I can't believe I'm going to keep the leopard dress, the jeans, the tie-dye top, and the sweater. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to get to wear these pieces. It might be a month or so before I wear those jeans because it's too hot. But um, Oh, and the sweater. But the other two, for sure, I'm going to wear. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. I'm so hot. <laughs> I just looked at me and I'm like, Laura, you look hot. <sighs> well, y'all, what a trunk. This was a great trunk. And listen, like that green skirt, had it been just a little bigger, I would have wanted to keep. The polka dot dress, had it been just a little bigger, I would have wanted to keep. The white dress, had it been smaller, I would have wanted to keep it, also in a different color. And the yellow one, had it fit better. Like, the only piece that I like didn't immediately go, oh, I would want to keep this, is that rust colored camisole. And even then I liked it, I would wear it, but it didn't make me like as excited as the other things. So, oh, and the shoes, the shoes I was not super excited about, but this was a really good trunk. I'm very excited. I can't wait to leave Kat my feedback and tell her all the things that I've learned trying this stuff on. So now is the time in the comments that you tell me, what would you keep if you were me? What would you keep if you were you? And then any other comments about the items? What did you love? What did you not like? <laughs> Was there anything that you hated? Is there anything that I loved that you were like, oh no, girl, no. <laughs> Is there anything that I didn't love that you were like, yes, Laura, it looks great. Although I pretty much loved everything. So, okay, now's your time. Sound off in the comments. Tell me all the thoughts that you have about this trunk. And um, if you're interested in trying Trunk Club, please use my link below. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I am so uncomfortable like asking for people to use my links and stuff, but I'm trying to get better at it because uh, it's the only way I can continue to do all this. <laughs> so thank you so much to anyone who uses the link. Thank you to so bleh, thank you so much to y'all, like to any of y'all who watch this video, who comment, who participate in the conversation and are active part of this community. I love you so much. I love these videos. I love the comments. I love our community. <sighs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more stuff from me and you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. If you've enjoyed my videos, learned anything, been inspired, or just want to keep seeing more content, please show me some love and consider supporting me on Patreon or coffee.com to make a one-time donation. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you, your presence, your engagement, and our community. All the links will be in the description box below.